all right ladies welcome back so we're going to continue with our fixtures okay so as i just mentioned you can use this little thickness here to represent let's see some sort of what do you call it again like a marble slab or some sort of marble finish on your countertop so let's see you want to have some wooden finish you don't have to draw the details but all you have to do is just represent the thickness so you could so the person who's reading would know that you have something on top there okay now i think that's it for our kitchen area okay if you're probably wondering what this little thing is here i can't remember the technical name for it at the moment but it's a little slot that usually most counters have so that when you're let's say washing the wares or you're by the counter your tool doesn't actually slam against the, the counter so it has a lot of space underneath it's the tool kick honestly i can't remember the technical term for it right now but when i do i'm gonna inform you all in the future okay <sighs> any questions so far in regards to the kitchen layout all right no questions we'll be moving on so moving on to the kitchen the bathroom area again i'm not going to go too in depth into it because i think by now everyone should know the fixtures within the bathroom and based on what i said earlier i'm hoping that you also understand that we have elevated and planned views of these items okay so in order for you to actually find that it's in home space or house designer i think it's house designer yeah so in order to find the kitchen the bathroom fixtures you have to check house design okay now like i explained earlier on we have elevated views we have planned views this here is a planned view of a toilet this here is elevated side view of a toilet this here is an elevated side view or front elevated side view of a toilet okay this here is an oval sink this is what you're going to see on the floor plan this here is an elevated view of a sink and so on and so forth if you don't know what it looks like you can't see it properly here bring it within the drawing space bring it in within the design space on all you have to do is zoom up and see what it is that's it as you can see plan view side elevated view front elevated view okay um yeah that's it now another issue i've been having a lot is the toilet position like if you look at this lovely toilet drawn right here this is obviously a plan view but let's, let's just imagine that we're standing within that bathroom area okay and we're looking at the toilet most likely we won't be seeing the back view of the toilet we'll be looking at the front view of the toilet so that means that when we're looking for a fixture we're going to look for a front view of the toilet not the side view the front view so the reason why i took the center instead of the side and the width is because you want to place the toilet within the center obviously so we're going to select it move it and just place it on the line that's it once that is done we remove the line that we had there as a guideline and then we move on to the next section all right now with that being done okay so with that being done we have to move across to the staircase now this hair might be a little difficult for some of you but again all i'm asking you to do is be patient with it all right for those of you who actually were there during the summer class you would have an idea on how to actually do the staircase i don't think there's much for me to explain but for those of you who weren't there sorry but for those of you who weren't there this may be a bit difficult for you to grasp on the first try okay but again i'm going to try my best to explain it to the best of my ability okay so in this case the height i will not be explaining what our risers and treaders and whatnot as you can see within the image here we have two treader um two landings we also have a few 
shadows. All right. Basically, we'll be representing what we see here on our on our elevation. Okay. So we're going to imagine that there's a little open space within the ceiling here, which we have not drawn as yet. But we want to establish these here, what we see here, within our plan. So I'm going to start at the top today. Okay. So the height of my step ups would be. I'll put it at nine inches. No, I'll put eight inches. Okay. So eight inches when you convert to millimeters, it's 200. Yeah, I believe it's 200. All right. So offset 200. And we're going to start at the top downwards. Okay. So this here is our first landing. All right, how many, which is this portion here. Now, how many step downs do we have to go before we get to the second land? And we have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go down one, two, three, four, five. All right, we're going to stop right here. Okay. Now, how do you represent it using this here? So again, you're making like a step down pattern here. All we have to do is just trim. So we're going to start with this one here. Trim this line, erase all these lines here. Trim this line, erase all the lines here. Trim these two lines, erase all the lines here. Erase these two lines, not this one, and then erase these here. So, so far we have one, one, step down two, two, step down three, three, step down four, four, step down five, which is this one here, five, and the last one, the landing, which is six, six. Erase all these excess lines here. Again, once we have the video posted, you can play it in slow motion for you to actually understand what was done here. Miss? Yes. Oh, okay, Miss, it's unstuck now. Okay. So, again, as I was saying, if you missed out anything, when I post the video, you can slow it down and try to just follow what I did. All right? So, you're looking for that step down effect or pattern within your drawing which is represented down here. Now, based on what I see, I think we may have to put more step downs. Don't think so, but anyways. So this level here, right here, is the landing right here, okay? So we have to go down one, two, three, four, five. So we offset, same, 200, one, two, three, four five now as you can see this doesn't touch the ground as yet so that means that this staircase should come out a little bit more so bear with me so five six let's have one two three so that means i have to add an extra three more shredders to my staircase so it can actually add up to what I have there on the drawing. Okay. So if I was to do it over, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when I count here, I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this is what a staircase would look like from an elevated view. Like if you're stepping up, this is what the elevated view of a staircase would look like on the side, on the side stepping across. Okay. Once you've done that, you trim all the excess lines, and then you can draw in the details in terms of whether it's a concrete staircase or if it's a wooden staircase. Now, in this case, we're going to imagine it's a concrete staircase because we don't have much time and we're going to leave it as is okay now we don't need to represent this wall here because it the cotton line is in front of it so what we have here is what should be 
but you would realize that the cutting line passes through the steps so it means that this front portion of the staircase should not exist okay we should only see when it starts from this point here so how do we do that we look at our drawing we count how many step ups we have we have one two three four five so it means the first five lines one two three four five should be removed deleted and then we have like and this head basically shows like a hollow staircase well in most cases not hollow but so it means that from this portion here we're going to leave the line as is here so basically we've cut through our staircase and this is where the staircase would start from this cut line section to go up towards our platform or our flat roof or our patio which is at the top to make things a little bit more easier for us to understand i'm going to create a little space for us to have like a little latch door on our door on our ceiling i'm gonna offset that space by four 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 feet which is 1200 all right so it means that when the persons are coming up they have to open the latch in order for well that's not enough space for that because you might you would knock your head here you know what I'll just make it a little wider. I'll make it out five feet instead. Up, offset. Now, ladies, in terms of you understanding the the concept of like an open latch within a roof, you don't need to worry about it right now. Even though this here is physically, like physically, it's it's not applicable within a floor plan but i did this section here for you to understand the elevated view of a staircase and the side view of a staircase okay so don't be scared you won't be getting something like this for exam even though actually if you were to act like try to climb up here you would knock your head on this hair but honestly a child but <sighs> The concept of staircase has been taught. Okay, the elevated and the side view. All right, ladies. So with that being said, are there any questions? Okay, since there isn't, that will be the end for of our session in regards to how to draw sectional drawing. I'm hoping that this would help you in the future in completing your SBA. There's also one more section you have to do, which is labeling and dimensioning, but I'll reference you to the textbook so you would know how you should actually do the labeling of a sectional drawing. Okay, so I will not be teaching that section. I'm going to actually just give you an example of one that is labeled, and then you're going to complete it before the deadline. Now, today is currently the, the 21st of January. Okay um this deadline for this building drawing will be in the next two weeks so that would be the 4th of february okay so the floor plan the roof plan our foundation plan the two elevations and the sectional drawing is due on the 4th of february 2022 all right ladies I hope you remember that date. Write it down. Once you've completed that, we should be okay. All right. Next week, God's willing, we're going to move on to site plans. Once we've completed site plan, then we're going to start geometry. So most likely either the first week in February or the second week in February, we're going to start doing our geometry. Again, we've completed most components within geometry, like tangents and whatnot. So we're going to be focusing on the 3D aspect, like isometric drawings, auxiliary views, orthographic views, those kind of stuff. So you can compile your, geom your geom geometric section of your SP. <laughs> um, but that shouldn't take us a very long time to do. Okay. So with that being said, ladies, 
do enjoy the rest of your day. Again, I thank you for your patience for this session. And please attend your next class. All right, I'm sorry for letting y'all off a bit late. You know, it's not like me to do such. All right, so bye. Bye.